Hey guys, some very exciting news. The new president of Wizards of the Coast, which is owned by Hasbro, but in turn owns Magic the Gathering, is from Microsoft. Uh, what does this mean for the game? I hope this is what it means. I hope he brings on a new team of developers, he makes Magic Online a lot better, and he focuses on a better user experience and a user interface. I don't play Magic Online because the interface and the user experience is so horrible. And being a graphic designer, I just can't force myself to even look at it. Magic Duels is fine. The card pull is questionable. The game experience is questionable. But at least the user interface and the user experience is on par to what most mobile apps will be. Now, I hope this means that more people will be attracted to Magic Online and it's a huge avenue for Magic to grow because honestly, I'll be honest with you, you can play Vintage, you can play Legacy, you can play EDH, you can play everything online because you will always find a player who will play with you. Going to the store and supporting a local store, very important. But moving into the next 20 years or 15 years, at least in Houston, uh, Battle Bunker went out of business, uh, Comic and Railroads went out of business. So many of these magic stores are going out of business and there's less and less places to play. Um, also, you're limited by paper. Um, paper means that you have to find someone who physically has paper as well. So, Magic Online solves all these problems. It When you look at League of Legends or... League of Legends is a very good example, but Hearthstone would be another good example. People can stream and they can Twitch and they can make YouTube channels and they can make a really good living from it. Magic Online, if you look at Brian Kibler, one of the most famous, if probably top five most famous Magic players, uh, and he doesn't play Magic Online. He plays Hearthstone all the time on his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is very popular. I, I like watching it, but he does not play Magic Online. And partially, and if you watch a lot of the people who Twitch or who use Twitch, a regular, the worst League of Legends user can have more Twitch followers than the best Magic the Gathering streamer. Um, and that's crazy because when you look at, I feel like they can do a better job digitizing Magic and making it fun to play online and fun and a great user experience and it would compete extremely well against Hearthstone. Right now there's no competition. Hearthstone is dominating Magic Online and although you know Wizard Coach will say it's not the same market, it is the same market. It's competing for time. I know when I go online I pl I would much rather play Hearthstone than even look at Magic Online. So anyway what do you guys believe is going to happen? Do you feel like Magic Online will be fixed? Will it be a new batch of developers with talent um, going in and making it look more like Magic Duels, which I, in my opinion, Magic Duels looks pretty good. Anyway, leave a comment below and let's have a good discussion. Bye, guys.